Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different to my usual content. I gathered up all my watercolor palettes and paints and I thought it would be interesting if I rated them on a scale of 1 to 5 based on their price, how often I use them, if they are worth it, in my opinion, and the quality of the paints. So it's a pretty long list and I will try to get through it as quickly as I can. But if you like this sort of video, let me know in the comment section if you would like uh, something like this in the future with gouache, paints or all of my other art supplies. I thought initially that I would include them all in one video, but it, I think it would be too long and too boring. I will start off with uh, watercolor palettes, then move on to metallic watercolor palettes and then some inks and a bottle liquid watercolor. So the first palette that I want to show you guys is this Winsor & Newton Cotman 45 half pens palette. I've had this for quite a long time and it has seen <laughs> many years of painting. I think I've had it for uh, over 10 years and I got it as a present from my mom. The price of this palette right now is $65 on Amazon and overall I think the quality of the paints is really good. It's not a professional watercolor palette but considering that you get 45 colors as a first watercolor palette it's a pretty good investment. However I would say it's on the pricier side so if you're looking for something cheaper I would definitely recommend something else. So as I said the quality of the paints very good. The price is pretty high and I've used it on and off throughout these 10 years. When I first got it I used to use it uh, every time because I got it over 10 years ago and back then I didn't have many options as I do now. But overall I would give it a 4 out of 5 just considering the fact that it is on the more expensive side. So the next palette is the Kurataki Gansai Tambi. A set of 12 colors. These watercolors are a bit different to usual watercolors. They are Japanese and as you can see the pen size is pretty large but the amount of paint you get in here is not a lot so I've hit pen on many of the colors. Quality wise they are pretty good. I would say they are not so flowy as the usual watercolors I have. So a set of 12 is $18. It's a pretty good price. It's not too expensive. I like the packaging. Uh, I don't like the fact that there is no mixing palette, so that's a minus. But overall, the colors are pretty good. They're not overly saturated. I would say they are a bit more on the dull side. For that reason, because of the packaging and because I haven't used it in a quite a while, I don't tend to reach for it that often. I would give it a 3 out of 5. But I think it's uh, definitely worth a check. So the next watercolor palette is the Arteza 36 half pants watercolor palette. I actually got sent this uh, in PR a while back and I would say it's sort of the same idea as the Windsor and Newton one. However, they are not very similar. These tend to be more creamier, uh, but they are not as translucent. Again, I don't reach for it that much. I think I don't really reach for my watercolor palettes that have over 30 colors. I think it's a personal preference. However, I have used it qu quite a bit. Um, they are not, they don't have information about light fastness either, so that's a minus. And the price for one of these is $13, which is a really good price considering yeah, you get 36 colors. So based on the fact that the price is pretty good, if you're looking for something cheaper that comes with a lot of colors, then Arteza is definitely the way to go. However, considering that I don't really reach for it that much, I would give it a 3 out of 5, just because the colors are a bit meh. And yeah, it's something I don't really use that often. But it's a really good palette for beginners and for somebody who's on a budget. So the next watercolor palette is a smaller one. It is the Art Philosophy Prima watercolor set in Woodlands. So Art Philosophy does these smaller palettes which have a theme to them. Um, this is one of my favorite art supplies that I have ever gotten. 
The price for one of these palettes is around 25 to 22 dollars on Amazon, so it's a bit up there. Uh, the set comes with 12 colors, but I have to say that these are some of the most saturated colors I've seen in a watercolor palette. I love the way they blend, I love the way they work, I love the color palette of this particular palette, so I would give it a 5 out of 5 for me. It's one of my most used ones. I use it a lot in pet portraits and um, landscapes and stuff like that. So this is something I would probably repurchase if I ever run out, but I've had it for over two years and it's still going strong. So the next watercolor palette is also from Prima uh, Watercolors from Art Philosophy. It's their vintage palette set. Now this, in comparison to the Woodlands, um, it's, it's not it for me. The colors look really pretty in the pans, however they are very, I, I don't mean to say pastel but they have a lot of white pigment in them. And for that reason they are very thick in consistency, more similar to gouache rather than watercolor. You can't really get a clear transparency from them. I have used this to make some recreations of vintage posters. For that it works perfectly, this particular color palette, but other than that I haven't really reached for it. So for that reason I will give it a 3 out of 5. The price is the same as the Woodlands one, between $22 and $25. If you are looking for something very particular with a specific kind of color palette then you might want to check this out. So the next uh, item is the Viviva color suits, which I actually forgot I had. So. Uh, needless to say, I haven't used it in the last year or so. The price for one of these is $20 and it comes with 16 colors. They do have variations on this with more colors and other color palettes. This is an older one. Um, I mostly use it, used it when I traveled, so it's definitely good for traveling. If you are looking for something very compact, this is the thing for you. But since I don't really work that much while traveling, I don't take it with me. I had it with me in New York and that was probably the only time I used it while traveling. However, it's a really interesting concept. The quality of the paints is somewhere in between. They are very saturated. However, they tend to bunch up when you use the pan too, too much. So not the pan, the sheet of color. Uh, it tends to have little bunches of paint after using it for a while. So for that reason, I haven't reached for it. I also forgot I had it. It's really small. I don't see it in my collection very often. So I will give it a 4 out of 5 just because it's a very interesting concept and it's good for traveling. So I will move on to metallic watercolors now. I have a bunch of palettes. The first one I have is the Fine Tech Pearlescent Watercolor Set with 12 colors. This is one of my favorite art supplies as well. I've used it a bunch if in my videos, you've probably seen that. Some of the paints uh, look really busted, and that is because I've used it a lot. The price for one of these is $40, so it's up there in price. The packaging has changed throughout the years, so now they come in square pans, so the, it's not round anymore, and I don't know if the formula has changed, but these are really good metallic watercolors, they are very sparkly, they have a lot of pigment to them and for that reason I will give it a 5 out of 5 because it's still one of my favorites and I've had it for many years. Something similar to the Fine Tech one is the Arteza metallic watercolor palette. Now this comes with 24 colors, uh, the price for one is around $20, it depends where you look. If you look on their website, they some sometimes have deals. If you search on Amazon, you can find it at a discount. I would say I like this as much as the Fine Tech one. I like the fact that it has a lot of different options. So 24 colors compared to 12 is double the size of the number of the colors. They look really good, really metallic, strong shine at an affordable price. So for that reason, I would give it a five out of five as well. Definitely recommend it if you're lo looking for something cheaper with more colors. So the last metallic watercolor set I have is this Kuretake Gansai Tambi Gem Colors. It comes with six colors and the price for one is $16. So 
I don't really like this palette. I haven't reached for it in quite a while. The colors are fine. There are not many color options. Also, the packaging is cardboard and the, pal the palette doesn't have a mixing palette as well. This is something you'll find with the Kurataki ones, but um, it's really weird. It doesn't have a lid and I don't know how to store it. So for that reason, I will give it a 2 out of 5. It's also expensive for six colors, so I would definitely recommend you go with Arteza or the Fine Tech one. So the last two things are uh, liquid watercolors and inks. So the first one is the Echo Line liquid watercolors. They come in bottles of 30 milliliters. You can get them in sets, but one bottle is eight dollars, which is kind of expensive. But you get 30 milliliters. They are not very light fast, so I wouldn't use them for selling artwork. The colors are okay. They look better when wet rather than when dry. When dry they tend to fade a bit, but I really like them for quick ske sketches and quick work in my sketchbook. Also for Inktober they were great. So I would give it a 4 out of 5. I have reached for them quite a bit in the last years. I have purchased quite a lot of colors. I think the colors are cool and I like this um, packaging. They ha it has a pipette inside and it's easy to work with. So the last item are these inks from Kohinoor. Uh, they are drawing inks, they have metallic versions and also uh, plain color versions. They come in bottles of 20 milliliters and each bottle is $5. You can also get them in sets of six. A set of six is around $60. So these are quite vintage in my opinion. I've seen them even when I was in high school. They do the job. They are not very overpriced. I've used them quite a lot. I like them. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the packaging. I wish it had a pipette like the Echo Line ones, but overall I would give them a 4 out of 5. They are not perfect, but they do the job and they are pretty affordable. So that is pretty much my watercolor palette uh, slash paints collection. If you would like to see a video on my gouache collection, let me know in the description box and I would love to hear your opinions about this video. I hope it was helpful if, in case you are looking for anything I have mentioned. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.